Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot bringing you another Madden 19 Mud Tip video. Today we're looking at Tevin Coleman, we got a new flashback and he couldn't be sexier man, a 92 speed, I would love to get this guy, I'm going to try to get him today, but realistically I'm going to show you a Mud Tip on how to turn flashbacks, get flashbacks cheap first of all, and then how to turn them into coins or uh, training points, whatever you think is more important. So stick around for the video, I'm going to do that next. All right, so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go into the item set section. Uh, basically, in the Mutt Token section, you can see in the token rewards, uh, they up the ante. You got to you gotta get a lot more uh, tokens now. I used, to, I used to call them badges, but you got to get a lot more tokens now to fill out and complete the flashback sets, especially compared to the heavyweights, um, which I'm not even sure that they upgraded that. That might have been four at one point. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use a method where we can get these tokens really cheap, and then we're going to turn them into cheap flashbacks. So first off, let's take a look at how many coins I have. This is important, not because I'm bragging, because I want to keep track on how much that I'm spending to create these. Uh, basically, from scratch, I had one or two badges, no big deal, one or two tokens, whatever. Um, but, you know, I don't really have a ton. So, basically, we're going to get them all, and I'm going to try to do it for under 50k in coins. Uh, starting off, though, you can see we're going to start sniping power-ups, because the hardest thing to get is your... Um, is, is the elites so we're gonna basically create elites out of these dirt cheap power-ups We're gonna try to find them anyway uh, around a thousand under a thousand like Julian Edelman here is perfect um, so, so, you know the cards I think they have to get like an 84 or an 85 maybe it's an 83 84 I'm not entirely sure but those can be expensive those can be 20k or more um, To fill those slots so I'm gonna get those really cheap right now just by using some of the excess training points that I have We're basically gonna split uh, the difference we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put coins towards some of this to complete it and and we're going to put training points on some of this to complete it because realistically what we're trying to do here anyway is get training uh, we're going to try to get training points and coins back i mean that's the point i'm trying to essentially get back uh, you know if i don't like the card that i pull i'm going to try to either sell them for a bunch of coins or i'm going to try to trade them in for a bunch of training points whichever one is a better value uh, because realistically i'm trying to get the four thousand so i can complete the ty hilton card that i have to get into a 92 overall anyway so realistically, I mean, looking at my team, by the way, I did have not spent a dime. So the half a million coins that I have um, is, is is just, you know, from straight playing this game, 89 overall. Ne like I said, never spent a dollar on this game. So, you know, you can take my word for it that I put in a lot of work um, to get this team to where it is. So now that we got a bunch of, um, you know, power-up tokens, or power-up players, I'm sorry. Now that we got a bunch of power-up players, uh, I don't always keep some on the stash, to be honest with you. I always have some really cheap power up players i'll check out the market every once in a while and just stash them just buy them under a thousand and stash them for when i feel like i want to do these sets realistically most of the stuff that i'm going to put in these sets are players that um i got in in uh, weekend league packs and uh you know uh, solo battle packs you know what i'm saying when i when i when i get those rewards i'll try to turn some of the cheaper cards or some of the cards that i want into this set typically but i'm gonna try to speed it along here because today i want to show you how easy it is to do this so surely enough, since you had to snipe cheap power-up players, and you'll have to snipe, you know, cheap other other cards to complete the silvers and the golds, obviously as well. So here we go. We're just going to go through uh, the 62s. I'm going to go position by position. I'm going all defense here because realistically, the 60 to 64s. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what the number is, but um, those are, are going to be the cheapest. So I'll spend like 400 on those just to speed through it. I don't really care because it's going to be cheap. But once you start getting to the next couple levels of cards, you're going to have to find uh, better deals. So I'm just buying these at like 400 a pop because there's a bunch there. But if I really wanted to be cheap, I'm sure I could find them for closer to 200, 250, 300. But like I said, time-wise, I'm trying to make this quick. Realistically, it took me about 20 minutes to complete this set. And, uh, you know, that's, that's by going through as fast as possible. The pricing you want to look for on the 68s to 67s is probably anything under 600 to be realistic. Once again, you could really pick through, try to find them closer to 400, 450. You can find them out there. But once again, for speed, uh, an extra 100 coins per, I'm not really too worried about it. But like I said, once you get to the coins, then you got to find some deals. So now that I'm in the gold 70 to 74, you never want to set it just a straight gold. You got to set it to the precise 70 to 74 because you're going to need a good number of these um, to create the gold packs. You need to do 5 70 to 74s and then 5 75 to 79s. Uh, I'm going to go through the 75 and 79s too. There's, there's got to find some deals here there too. But realistically, this one here, um, if you can find 
a 7074 for under 800 that's a really good deal uh, make sure to get that that one there was a 700 um, as far as the 75 to 79s uh, you can pretty much you know look for those when you do these on weekend league like I don't know if I, I don't remember if I did this during weekend league but you can find way better deals in the market on weekend league so I would suggest to stockpile these type of cards on the weekends when people are really just dumping their cards because they're trying to buy you know the best player to improve their team uh, when the games really count on the weekend so that's when you can best find good deals uh, but like I said I don't really remember if that's what I did here but like I said you can find some good deals there's 500 for a 72 overall card you know what I'm saying that's as, that's as cheap as I spent on some of the 62 overall cards so like I said you know the you want to find your value here to keep the price down you want to try to find it here and if you can't find it in the 75 to 79s I have another method because I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly I tried to um, record this video uh, retroactively like I did it on PlayStation and I got I think like an 89 overall card or something when I finally did the poll uh, but when I tried to upload it from PlayStation's memory to uh, to YouTube it, it didn't go through so I had to re-record it this is the second attempt at doing this uh, but like I said I do this all the time anyway this is not really like the second attempt I've done this like four or five times this year uh, the best pull I ever got was 90 overall Justin Houston who I could have sold for about 180k but realistically um, I, I sold him for training points. I think I got 2,200 training points for him because it was more. It was a, a better value in training points than it would have been if I would have sold him. Because I guess he's kind of slow as an outside linebacker. It's like a 79 speed, so people don't really want that. Uh, they want fast guys, so he um, he sold a little bit cheaper than the training points would allow. So like I said, in today's market, when I did this the second time around, it wasn't during weekend league, so I didn't get quite the deals on the golds that I typically would. Like I said, if I do this during weekend league, I typically would get way better deals on the gold. So what I decided to do was the same trick with the power-ups which I'll show you now. So going back to my item binder, I'm basically going to create the rest of the cards with training points. Now looking at how many coins that I actually spent, I have about 469,000. I started off with 491,000. So I spent roughly 21,000 in the market trying to get the cards needed. I might spend a few more to complete some of the sets, but realistically, I probably got this done for about 20 to 30,000 in coins. But the real challenge now is going to be how much I spend making these elites in training points. You can see I'm basically just going through creating, uh, you know, creating them to an 80 is about 40 training points, which is like nothing. That's like, uh, that's like 179 overall card basically um, to make an elite that you could have to buy for 10k. You know what I mean? Like an 80 overall. Uh, elite card typically is like 10,000 so you're spending it you're spending a 79 overall card and maybe a thousand to buy the card so realistically you're getting it for like three four thousand like the math is mind-bogglingly how 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 simple this is I'm sure people have figured this out to an extent if you haven't hopefully now you're, you're getting it but uh, the real challenge is when you want to get them up to the 83 and 84s and stuff like that then it can be expensive like to get them to an 80 is nothing but once you get them to like the 81 82 83 84 stuff like that it's gonna like be I think the next jump is like 70 sometimes and sometimes 140 so there you're kind of getting cost but like I said it's really what you value if you rather spend the coins to go out and get um, the 84 overall cards and whatnot, which like I said, I think they're like 20k, 25k, something like that, somewhere in that range. Um, that's up to you, but I, I'd rather, since I have so many training points and it doesn't cost too much, especially to get the 80s overalls, I'd rather do that. If I can get, if I can spend an equivalent of 4,000 in training points for a 10,000 coin card, uh, it's a no-brainer. And then I'm also, like I said, if I don't have enough uh, golds, I'm going to create the 75 to 79 gold, and it's still even cheaper. You can get, um, and easily you can get a card to a 75. Like say you have Donovan McNabb or something that just dropped, you can get him to. I mean, he's worth more to sell. But I'm just saying, if you, you for one upgrade point, you can get a card from a 73 legend to a 75 legend, and then you have a gold card for like 10 training points. You know what I mean? It's like it's a no-brainer in my opinion. So we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna see what card we pull. Uh, we're just gonna complete these sets real quick. So here we are now, we're gonna complete with um, with the cards that we basically improved. I'm gonna get rid of some lower end cards that I really aren't using too much anymore, um, like Brandon Graham, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't really use him um, that much. He's just kind of there on the roster. Uh, Fletcher Cox is a guy that I'm trying to upgrade over to. I think I put him in the next bad set. But like I said, you, you know, you can see I, I haven't really spent too much coins. Uh, I was sniping some cards too, like while I'm going through the regular sets, I'm also sniping a few cards uh, along the way, um, you know, to stash. So it's like I'm also spending coins that way. If I hit a 70, if I see a 74 overall card that I want to quick sell for training points, I'll do that type of thing. Uh, but realistically, we're almost done with this set here. And voila, we're done with our final badge. 
uh, or find a token. I'm old school. I keep calling it a badge. Uh, but we're going to complete this set, and we're going to see what we pull. Like I said, fingers crossed. Hopefully, I get like a Dustin Houston type again or somebody, th something of that nature. Uh, but it's really luck of the draw. So let's see what we get. And we pulled Danny Trevathan. I know right away when I see this card, he's not going to sell for a ton of coins. Because once again, speed is not his forte. People want speed. So I know pretty quickly I'm probably going to be selling him for training points, uh, which is fine. Event the, the bottom line is I'm going to improve in some category. If I get a nice pull, I could get more coins. Or if I get a nice pull, I could get more training points. Or I could actually have him as a starter. He's He would be my second best middle linebacker and I'd have a chance to improve my overall. Because I don't have a, a second linebacker at his at his overall. I have uh, Ryan Shazier who is an 85. So I have my choice. I can, I can improve my team or I can quick sell him, which is what I ended up doing. So realistically, I got my training points up by doing this. I pulled a lot of great cards. The, the best card I ever pulled, like I said, was Justin Houston. A couple, like a month back, I got um, Doug Baldwin, which at the time was like, was selling for a ton. So I was really excited for that. Uh, but this was not one of my better pulls. So I wish I could end the video better. But like I said, try this out. Let me know your success stories if you have them. I'm gonna try to you know, see my overall goes up at all uh, by putting Trevathan in it. I actually, what I did after this video too, was I went out and I got Reggie White and I maxed them out basically. Um, so that's it. If you guys want to see more Mutt videos, do me a favor, hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Let me shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.